Hey there guys, N107 here, coming at you, back from the dead. I am here alive, kicking it, still recovering. Today I felt good enough that I could get this video out for you. Um, but anyway, I'm hoping I'll be feel better Saturday, but if not, I'll be making a video on Monday. Uh, anyway, this video is on Fortnite. As you can tell, my voice is not as strong. Uh, but anyway, for those of you wondering, before I dive in, I did, I did get the flu. I am getting tested tomorrow to see if it's more than just a flu, because we all know what it could be. Uh, but definitely I lost my taste today, half of my mouth, not all of it. Uh, so that's new. I've never had that experience in my life that I can remember. So I'm pretty sure it is the elephant in the room. We all know what it is. But anyway, I'm quarantining. All is well, all is good. Uh, Fortnite Xbox Series S versus Xbox One S. Trust me, this is it. This version of Fortnite is the one you've been waiting for if you're living on a budget and want a taste of next gen or just pure Fortnite fun. Especially if you're a split screen kind of person, as long as you're into couch gaming standing while standing, then this is going to be the experience for you to do. Uh, definitely from far away, I still recommend Fortnite on the Xbox Series X. A little bubble on top for that video. And if you want any more of these kinds of videos, let me know in the comment section below and I'll make them for you. Here's the playlist for the Xbox Series X versus One X and consecutively Series S versus One S. Anyway, without further ado, let's dive into one of the best. I, honestly, I think probably the best Fortnite version you can get for 300 bucks out there, even on PC. Let's go. So here we go, both game installed on each respective internal drive. Of course, the Xbox One S is a spinning disc, and then the Series S is a solid state drive. So I guess it's as fast as its electricity can travel. But anyway, guys, this game is an optimized for Series X and Series S. Uh, the optimizations bring it up to a quicker loading, uh, plus just the raw nature of an SSD, which the Series S reaches 40 seconds to be able to get you into the main menu. Then the One S, you're looking at about a minute and 40 seconds. And it's just the nature of the slower HDD drive. If you're interested in learning more about what does the Optimize for Series X logo or badge stand for, check the little bubble on top. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're looking at. We're looking at then the Series S, uh, you're looking at improved loading times, improved performance by bumping the resolution to 1200p at 60fps. And then if you want performance mode, then you're looking at 1080p, 120fps. And that's right, 120fps. It is sweet. It definitely bounces between 100, uh, I'd say 105 to 120, but you can't really tell the difference. It's not necessarily a bad frame pacing, it's just, you know, the actual drop on FPS. Uh, but with VRR, uh, even without it though, it's still smooth, but with it, it's just buttery smooth, it's beautiful. Uh, but if you're looking to up your gaming into actual more competitive, then definitely I personally would take the drop from 1200p down to 1080p because yes it makes it a little harder to look at aim at targets from far away you can definitely tell that when you're playing at series x uh, 1440p 120 or even it's 4k 60 uh, it is harder to shoot targets from far but those circumstances are less often than me getting into an actual one-on-one -on -one, you know fight so from medium to low distance and besides FPS, look at these two images. Uh, next to each other, you will see the One S is just a lot blurrier, texture details lower, and for some reason Master Chief's uh, mirror glass thing, helmet glass, visor, doesn't have reflection. Everything looks a little more muddy, and uh, of course, the resolution is much, much lower. Like, 1200p or 1080p on the Series S looks sharp, looks nice, but on the One S, it's a blurry mess. Um, it still looks good. I wouldn't say it's bad, but it's it's on the borderline of the mobile version looks better almost at times, depending on which phone you have, you know? Well, that was before you could not play it on the Apple, <laughs> Apple devices. And sorry about this part. I couldn't, my health didn't hold up, so I wasn't able to get a matching day by night cycle on this video part. So I just kind of skipped through, but I just wanted to show you the Creative Island uh, menu hub. Uh, the Series S is stuttered, but then the One S, it did 
and then it stutters again you know it, it double stuttered and this is not really an issue per se but it's definitely something you'll notice just responsiveness i'm pretty sure there is lower input lag on the series s because it just feels nicer and when you go on a battle royale i noticed that one player is doable on the one x s you know it's um 50 sometimes 47 fps up to 60 with vrr it's pretty smooth but it's still it's 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 a little clunky if you want to go true competitive you definitely need a better machine and that's where i think the series s comes in even at a 60 fps uh there's this thing though with split screen let me tell you split screen the reason why I call this the series as the best couch standing couch uh, playing uh, console for Fortnite is because the resolution looks to be about oh wait real quick look at the textures on the one S <laughs> you never see that on the series S I could never replicate it but anyway on the series on the on the series S you're looking at about 720p 60 FPS uh, split screen. And everything kind of looks just as good as it would on single player, just much lower resolution compared to the One S, which honestly, it looks bad. Like split screen on the One S is, if you have no better way, go for it, Jimmy. But honestly, don't make yourself go through it. You can't do it competitively. It's just animations on the enemy's um, movements. They run at like 30 or lower FPS. It, it will struggle on heavy battles. Uh, I wasn't able to capture much of it because I ran out of time and health, but definitely don't recommend it. Uh, I'd recommend it for like PVE stuff, relax stuff, um, but definitely don't try it. A Series S is the way to go. Uh, but anyway, One S, I think it's running like 480p to 720 dynamic on split screen. So it's definitely the resolution on the split screen on the One S is below acceptable in my opinion. Plus the fact that it's 30 FPS. But anyway, it's too blurry. That's my opinion on it. Uh, Series S, I think it's good. 720p is a little low, but doable because it's at 60 FPS. And the response rate is more stable. Uh, that's something I definitely noticed with the One S. It is playable on single player, but it does drop frames below 50 often enough that it can get in the way of competitive gaming. Uh, but besides that, guys, appreciate your support. Enjoy this bot fight. Pretty sure they're bots, but it might just be Jimmy trying to get better at Fortnite. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm gonna get better. Uh, keep, I'll keep you posted, and don't forget to subscribe, the bell, and a like along the way, and everything Fortnite or just Xbox. I mean Xbox, not everything Fortnite. I'm not Cypher K, but everything Xbox. Stick to the channel. And uh, 3,000 subs, I'll be giving away one month of free Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, and then consecutively every 500. Until then, I'm in World 7. Catch you all later.